in this year's NFL draft, um, the Arizona Cardinals are going to be targeting a few picks and a few positions in particular. Um, coming into the offseason, the greatest needs included the offensive line, quarterback, um, outside an edge rusher on the ta- um, outside linebacker, probably someone on, on the inside as well, and then help at safety as they need to get younger and they've let a couple of players go. Now, they've sort of taken care of the quarterback position or at least allowed them to delay the inevitable by picking up Carson Palmer, which makes the seventh pick a little bit easier to pick somebody um, that would affect the team more immediately. Um, going to the draft, obviously, probably the biggest need is the offensive line. And at the top of the draft, there tends to be there there seems to be a lot of elite talent there. So with the seventh pick, we will likely see Arizona going with the offensive line. Uh, in a perfect world, you would see someone like Eric Fisher drop to the seventh pick, uh, where the where the lineman out of Central Michigan could really make an impact and either bump one of the tackles to the inside, not only improving the tackle position but also the guard position for the Cardinals. Or you might see Lane Johnson um, taken at the same at the same spot. However, you might also see uh, Chance Warmack taken as as the first guard, as someone in the top ten, which is seen by some as as a no no. You don't do that with the guard position. However, it might actually happen. Um, the interesting thing would be to see what happens if Geno Smith falls down, falls past the first few picks. Um, I don't know how highly the Cardinals have him slotted in their in their big board however uh bruce arians has said out up front that you draft for need you're going to bust and they've kind of filled a lot of their needs uh through free agency allowing them to pick players uh that they feel are the most talented if they feel you know smith is the most talented player you could see him go with that top pick however that does seem a little bit unlikely um if you look at their their draft strategy uh, I would imagine with the first couple of picks, with the seventh pick and the, the, the pick at the top of the second round, they're going to go either offensive line, offensive line, offensive line, pass rusher, or pass rusher, offensive line. Being at the top of the draft, there, tends, there seems to be a lot of talent there with on the line and on the edge with guys like Deion Jordan, uh, Jarvis Jones, um, Barkevius Mingo, Ezekiel Ansa. Um, you could see any of those guys going at the top of the draft. You're going to see the Cardinals go on the later picks with with safety, um, probably looking at a burner receiver, a guy with speed, um, probably more offensive line help, depth on the defensive defensive line or a linebacker. And at, at some point, you might see them draft a quarterback. Again, with Carson Palmer there at the helm, they've, they've bought themselves at least a year, so they don't have to draft a quarterback unless one really pops out at them. They might see them look that route next year. In, 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 in the end, Cardinals look an offensive line. Top of the draft, you're going to see offensive line pass rusher is most likely with the way that they're going to go. 